we're going to try one simple Bernoulli equation example and one that involves a little bit of math. The simple one is this. If you dangle two pieces of paper vertically a few inches apart and blow between them, how do you think they're going to move? Let's take a look, see if we can do this. Here, you can dangle some pieces of paper. And if I blow between them, do we think they're going to go together or apart? Let's try. Oh, they went together. Keep going together. But I'm blowing air between them. Why aren't they, why isn't that air pushing it apart? Good question. I think I have an answer. I think it's because of Bernoulli's equation. If you think about it, we have the pieces of paper and we blow the air between them so the average linear velocity of flow increases, which causes the pressure to decrease. The pressure on the outside of the paper stays the same, so the higher pressure outside the paper pushes in and exerts the force on the outside of the paper more than the lower pressure inside can, and so it pushes the paper in. There you go. Easy example of Bernoulli's equation. There's other things you can do that you can use Bernoulli's equation or other ways of considering conservation of momentum and things to consider, for example, ball's path curving with spin and the Magnus effect and other fun things. But let's try an example using some math of a fire hose and applying Bernoulli's equation. So we have a fire hose, it's rising up a ladder, and we want to know what's the pressure in the nozzle of this fire hose. We'll label our states just like we do with energy problems. Bernoulli's equation problems work very similarly, where we can say, all right, we've got point one with some pressure and point two with some other pressure. So we have our high pressure down here from our fire hose and our lower pressure or atmospheric pressure at the point where it's coming out the nozzle of the hose. We can now write Bernoulli's equation Full thing, it's long, whatever. And now we try and simplify it. We know that the volumetric flow of the hose from the problem statement is 40 liters per second. So we can write our volumetric flow is A1 V1. And we can solve for that average linear speed of flow by dividing by A1 and getting V1 is equal to Q over A1 which gives us 12.4 meters per second once we plug in pi r squared as our area. We can get v2 similarly by saying it's q over a2. It's a similar expression, but now with an r2 that's different from our problem statement here, what does it say? We had Inside diameter of 6.4 centimeters, which gave us 3.2 for the radius. And then this one is 3 centimeters, so that'll be 1.5 centimeters for the radius, which results in a velocity at point 2 up there of 56.6 meters per second. Again, the nozzle is smaller, so we get a higher velocity so it can spray farther. Now with that information, we can try and simplify this and say, all right, I want to know what the pressure in the nozzle is, so I'll say P2 is equal to the rest of this stuff, and we'll subtract these terms to the other side. We then get P2 is equal to P1 plus, we've got the one-half row V1 squared minus V2 squared term, because we subtracted the one-half row V2 squared term to the other side and factored out the one-half row. And similarly for height, we've got row G times the quantity H1 minus H2. P1 is gauge pressure. So that's the gauge pressure of 1.62 times 10 to the sixth newtons per meter squared. Rho is the density of water. And this height difference is that 10 meters that we're sending that hose upwards. We plug this in and what do we get? zero. But why? Why, you ask? Why would it be zero? If you think about it, you might figure it out, or I can tell you right now, which is that the gauge pressure that we have here that we used is a gauge pressure. That means it's relative to atmospheric. And at P2, we said we were at atmospheric pressure. 
So this says that if I'm plugging in P1 in gauge pressure, my P2 is going to be in gauge pressure, which means zero gauge pressure is equal to atmospheric. Yes? Yes? Makes sense.